Hi everyone, have you ever wondered how you can backup and recover Windows by yourself? If you have, then try AOMA Backupper Standard. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do so. You need to have an external hard drive, which should be enough space for Windows and applications. And you will need a small 8GB thumb drive to store WinPE. Go to this website, download the AOMA Backupper Standard. AOMA Standard can do different types of backups, system backup, file backup, disk backup, and partition backup. I'm going to show you the system backup and recovery in this video. Now click on download freeware. You can save it to any folder. By the way, for those who wonder how I can pin this file explorer on top, please watch my previous video on how to install Microsoft PowerToy and use a tool named always on top. Now let's go down on this page to see some more features that this freeware offers. Easy backup for Windows 11, 10, and older versions. You can schedule the backup on a regular basis. Save clone. I may have the next video on how to clone a hard drive. Please subscribe to see it. Automatic sync. Once set up, the backup will synchronize automatically based on the schedule. This is freeware. With this freeware, you can do all these backups. And you can restore from the backup media. The clone. You can do disk cloning and partition cloning. For disk cloning, the freeware supports only data disk and the disk must be MBR. And under the tools, it said you can create a bootable USB. And you can check the backup image and view the backup log. Now the download is done. Click on the installation file. Choose your language. Click skip. Click on install now. Installation is successful. Close these windows. I'm going to show you how to back up the system drive. This is the back upper standard. On the home page where you can see all the tasks you create. Go to the backup menu. Click on system backup. Change the task name to the one you can recognize. This is my C drive and two hidden partitions. I call it system drive. I'm going to back up the whole thing to the external USB drive. You can see here is my external drive. I'm going to select the destination by clicking on a small arrow here. Select a local path. Change it to E drive. Click open. And start backup. The backup time could be half an hour depending on the size of data on the system drive. When the backup completes, click finish. Now, this is my E drive. This is the backup folder. This is the image file. And its size. All the system drive was backed up to this image. Remember, after the backup, you should also create a bootable USB and we keep them together. In this section, I will show you the steps to recover Windows. First, we create a bootable USB. Then change the BIO settings on the problem computer so it can boot up from the USB. Then we select the image on the external USB drive and start the recovery process. Now go to Tools. Click on Create Bootable Media. Select Windows PE. Click Next. Select USB Boot Device. This is my 8GB USB thumb drive to store the Windows PE. Click Next. Make sure this is the empty thumb drive, as it will be formatted and all the data on it will be gone. Click OK to format. It is asking whether I need to include some drivers. Just leave it there and click OK.
The boot media is successfully created. Click Finish. Now let's go check the small thumb drive. You can see that it's only the boot image of WinPE. We should keep this USB together with the backup file. Next step is to change the BIO setting on the problem PC so it can boot up from the thumb drive. In the BIOS, go to Advanced Mode. Go to Boot. Disable Fast Boot. Go to Boot CSM. Change Launch CSM to Auto. Under Boot Option Priorities, the first boot option is my USB thumb drive. Click Save the change on Exit. Now the computer is booting up from the USB, and WinPE is loading. And here is the AOMA back upper. Go to Restore, and click on Select Image File. Select the image on the external hard drive. Click Open. We are going to restore this backup, which includes the C drive and the hidden partitions. Click Next. On the left are partitions from the image file. On the right are partitions on the physical hard drive. Click this button to start restoring. I will stop right here and exit because my Windows 10 is working fine. Basically, that's it for the restoration. If you found this video helpful, please support us by clicking the subscribe button and the like button to see our next video. Thanks for watching.